Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. First John chapter 3, verse 7. Let me acknowledge the presence of our viewers, Lusaka people on Promise TV. We thank God for your life, that you are always there for this TV. We appreciate your support by watching this TV. And we know that you are not going to just watch the TV. You too, you'll be blessed as we are getting all these blessings from God Almighty. Even those who are watching us through YouTube and Facebook, we acknowledge your presence as the family of Jesus, Church of all believers. We say thank you once again that you are part of us. Thank you. Let's go to the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 7. The Bible says, Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is light is righteous, just as he is righteous. Who is that he? If you listen to this, two statements. Do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is light is righteous, just as he is righteous. That is Jesus. Because the one that you believe, the one that you worship, is righteous. And for you to be part of him, you need to be like him. How? The life that we are living, your activities, the type of people that you mingle with. Look at your everyday life. Where do you spend your time? What are you doing every day? Is Jesus part of what you are doing? Because for you to be a righteous person, Jesus is part of your activities. Your everyday life, he is part of you. This is why he's telling that, do not let anyone lead you astray. If you allow anyone to lead you, know for sure that you are lost. It is only Jesus who can read you. Praise the Lord. Verse 8. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil. The one who does what is sinful is of who? The devil. Sin is not the character of the Holy Spirit. It is the character of the devil. So if your everyday life, Satan is part of you, you are just praying his law in your life. You may claim to know Jesus with your mouth, but look at your activities every day. Where do you spend your day? How do you end your day? How do you start your day? The way you start your day and your week. Who is part of that one? If Jesus is not part of you, Satan will be part of you. Are you listening to me? The one who does what is sinful is of the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Satan has been committing this sin from the beginning. His life is sin. His name is sin. His character is sin. His language is sin. Everything is sin. So he has been sinning from day one up to today. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy 
the devil's work. I'm leading step by stage. This is verse 8. Let me read all of it so that you understand. Verse 8. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the, the devil's work. So before Jesus appeared to this life, Satan was busy planting his own things in us in form of destruction. Sin has no boundary, people of God. Sin has no what? There's no one who can tell you that me, I'm a very strong person, I cannot come in. No, it's a lie. It is only Jesus. Listen to this statement. The one who, who does what is light is Lysias. Just as he is what? Lysias. So there was no light before Jesus. It was only the written document on the paper. The power to fight Satan was not there. Because the law was very weak. It was just on the paper. Now Jesus came to plant his own light in us so that we become what? Lysias. And it is that light that can say no to darkness. Because sin is what? It's darkness. Come on, children of God. Sin is what? Mm -hmm. The light appeared to say no to darkness. Enough is enough. You have destroyed my people. You have planted your demons. You have made them to worship you. Now I have come to redeem them. He appeared as a light. Because Satan is darkness. So you cannot say no to darkness without the light. It is the light in you to say no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the light to say no to darkness. So the Son of God appeared to destroy the works of who? Satan. What is the works of Satan? Of course, you know, uh, I know that you just learn, uh, you know, straight to witchcraft, uh, drinking, smoking. What about uh, your anger? What about the gossiping? What about hatred and forgiveness? All these things are the works of the devil, planted by who? By the devil himself, as darkness in us. And these things cannot work for you. Take note of that one. All these elements that I've mentioned cannot work for your good. It is representing Satan. This can affect your business. This can affect everything that has to do with your family. If you entertain one of these, know for sure that uh, Satan is on top of your life. Hallelujah. What is sin? If you ask your neighbor what is sin, your neighbor will tell you that uh, smoking and drinking. If you see someone, you know you are coming to church, he's staggering like this. You, you are a gospel, you say, ah, waka fuakulume mbwaba. What about the one you are calling? Because you are even gossiping about a drunkard man. Instead of you, because Jesus will never gossip about you. He will never say bad things. Even if what you are doing is wrong, his law is to fight for you so that you come out of darkness. And when you are out of darkness, there you appreciate the one who made you to live what? Darkness. So, People of God, I hope and trust that this message will find a place in your heart. Verse 9. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remained in them. What is the seed? No one who is born from God will continue to what? To sin because God's seed remained in them. What is the seed? The Holy Spirit, of course, through his word. The Spirit of God cannot allow you to accommodate darkness because it's already inside. He will just say, no, darkness, find your way. I am inside already. If you say you are a born-again Christian by carrying a Bible, by going to church every Sunday, whichever day that you go to church, sit down and think twice. Because he is 
Lysias. He is Ori. Are you Ori? This is why you see sometimes when, you know, you become born again, people start misbehaving to say to be holy is to be like, you can't talk to people when you are walking. You'll be, you know, if you talk to people, people are disturbing you. No, I cannot enter that shop because the Holy Spirit cannot. You become mad. That is madness now. The Spirit of God always brings order. When you receive this Spirit of God, you behave. You live above every weakness of the. You understand everything. Even if you enter a shop where the owner is a satanist, you will not misbehave to say, "Oh, he's a satanist." No, 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 no. That is not Christianity. Your law is to make sure that you quench darkness, because you become the light. When you enter in that shop, you are meditating. Light take over. Light take over. Take over. Take over. I I, I have seen where you enter a shop. Uh, you know, you are trying to pay the money, they are not even paying attention to you. Now, I'm off my. Nachishwati, a satanist. I know, I know. Ah, Muka Kukot. And Jesus will not be there for you because you are a confused person. Umupashua Kuale Sanga, Waikila Pamuntu, Ule Tok Tonton Kanyo Kwafika Po. Ukuchila Matonton Kanyo Yamuntu. You can accommodate everyone because you are carrying the nature of God. Hmm. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. Hmm. Are you receiving? I mean, is that seed inside your heart? You, it's very easy to say yes. But it is not easy to receive that seed. Why? Remember what I said earlier. Anger, hatred, unforgiveness, gossiping. These elements. I'm not talking about beer or witchcraft. We all know that these are elements of the devil. But these things that I'm talking about, we overlook these things as, you know, it's part of me. Nenga nafuru and apuishana two days. Yes, because you are not a child of God. You are not a child of God. If truly you are a child of God, there is no way your father can allow you to be angry from morning up to evening. No. He would want to talk to you. Do you know that Christianity is like a relationship? Not even a, like a It is a relationship between you and God Almighty. And in each and every you know, stage in that relationship, everyone who is involved must pray his law accordingly. When I say accordingly, I mean if you engage a sister to say, I want to marry you. Before you do everything, you will explain, my life is like this. I don't like this. I don't like people who wear this. I don't like people who drink beer. I don't like people who does this and that. Then your, your, your partner will say, me too. I will follow what you know you, you are saying. At the end of the day, if what you agreed upon cannot be, you know, <laughs> maintained, I don't think so if that relationship will stand this is why you see, even in our marriages, if one cannot pray his law or a law according to what we agreed, their problem comes. If you as a human being, you become annoyed when your partner is not praying his law or a law, what more your father who created you? And he created you for his purpose, so that you remain in him and him remains in you. I hope and trust that by the grace of God, this message will settle in your heart. Let me add uh, John, the same John, chapter 1, verse 5. This is the message we have received from him and declared to you. God is light. In him, there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet we walk in darkness, we lie. Do not 
live out the truth. This is the message we heard from him, that God is what? Is light. In him, there is no what? No darkness. If you say you are in fellowship with him, and yet you are still living in darkness, the Bible says that you are lying. If you read good news, the Bible says that you are lying both in your words and your what? Your action. He is light. For you to follow him, you need to tap from him. You become the light like him. Fast for one day. Which one do you prefer? The one who can give you money? Or the one who can say, no, pray the order? Which one do you prefer? I know that uh, you are good in lying. <laughs> you say, no, Elisa. But inside you have to say money. You say what? Kutu matemo kwata wanani wachibusa. Hmm? Eh? What about money? God verse. God is money. God is money. Yes, I chose God first. Can, can, can you buy me by saying God? Hello? I'm saying, can you buy me? You enter the shop and then you see bags of me and salad. These, these are the things that you need to say <laughs> to the owner of the shop, Jesus. Then they want to give you a bag of me. No, I choose God. Answer me. <laughs> I know that you choose God. That is yeah. the, uh, from the mouth. Now I'm talking about the reality. Yeah. Since yesterday, mm. there was no food. Yeah. You had nothing. Yeah. And then you just wake up to say, let me go to the shop yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Because I choose Jesus to be my what? My friend. Yes. Then you need food. Your children are crying. Yes. Then you enter the shop and say, Jesus, <laughs> then the owner starts now giving you meal meal and salad. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I'll get. I'll get them. Yeah, I'll get them. <laughs> My sister, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Which one do you prefer? My sister said she will get. You enter the shop, you say Jesus, and the owner of the shop starts giving you what? Bags of meal meal. There are shops when you enter and say, Jesus, you say, what are you saying? What are, this is not a church, please. Hmm? Can you go and say, Jesus, somewhere, not here? And then you need food. Hmm? And then Satan is whispering to you to say, oh, look, you see that money there? 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 You see that there? You just walk there. You step on the money. Uh, uh, you are just looking at there. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are stealing. <laughs> you are what? The point I want you to, I mean, to take is this. If truly the Holy Spirit is in you, it's neither you cry for food or for money as long as the Spirit of God is in charge. He will manifest his strength because these material things are the things Satan is using to disfocus you and me. He knows that we need all these things. Umupashu wakwa le sanga uripali imwe. Mulefu wafri efin. Tuelo tefienu. Wala mipele nkosho. Isha kwa ati mulole le panchi. I mean mkwa ati le fin. Tumunshileo le sala ndati mufine mwa itashani. Mwakwata. Not shortcut. I don't know. If there is a man here or a woman who can agree, I mean, to say, we'll continue in this relationship when you discover that your fiancé is a criminal. If truly you are a child of God inside your heart, you sit down and start looking for what? Solution. If you love that person, you introduce that person to Jesus. 
But my point I want you to take. No one who is born from God will continue to sin. Because sin is against your future. Sin is poison. Sin is against all that can make you happy. Now, who do you prefer to be, you know, your, your, your friend? A rich or God Almighty? Hmm? Because, you know, the reality is that we, we, are, we are being taken by the things of this world. If truly what we are saying is what is in our hearts, then devil ngatakwata napa kuikala mumi kadile yesu. It's true what you are saying. It's what we are supposed to do. But in reality, you cannot. There you know that devil has planted something inside us to influence our decision making. But if the seed of God remains in you, you choose God rather than material things. Are you getting the point? It, what you are saying, I totally agree with you to say, yes, to forget what nani, lesser. But in reality, we are failing. Why? Satan has planted his own things in us. But if God Almighty planted his seed in you, yes, you will choose God than material things. You remember what happened to our Savior? Satan has said, if truly you are the Son of God, turn this stone into what? Blood. Let me end there. We'll continue. Thank you. God bless you.